nice collectible spot. We are looking at the brand new Jada Toys, Diecast Metal, Suicide Squad, The Joker. This is really the second Joker that we've had to look at, the first Joker being Joker Boss. This is Joker, well, unshirted Joker, and I've also got, he's barefooted as well. And this is a good opportunity to see some of the tattoos that are going to be on the Jared Leto Joker. Product code M18 it is a heavy piece, as this is die-cast metal. The bottom of the box shows you what the Joker is going to look like, or at least kind of like an illustration of the figure itself. As well, that carries over to the side of the box where it says Suicide Squad, the Joker, adult collectible. As for the back of the pop, actually for the back of the box there, it says collect them all. And a series of single figures consisting of the Joker, Joker Boss, Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Killer Croc, and then a couple of different variations, Joker, Joker Boss, Harley Quinn, Deadshot, and Killer Croc, which like the Batman v Superman, and uh, I think also Civil War had this as well. It's the, the top row and the second row are just mild paint variations, depending on which one that you wanted to get. As well, there is a Joker, Boss, and Harley Quinn two-pack. Uh, both are four-inch figures. To check out more from the folks over at Jada Toys, head over to www.jadatoys.com. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a, bit, a look at the brand new Jada Toys Suicide Squad The Joker. There's more heading away, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's get a better look at the Joker. Now, one thing that's really cool about the Jada Toys releases is that be, being that they're one of the first to market for Suicide Squad you know, figures and, and statues and stuff like that, it gives us a chance to get a closer look at some of the tattoos that are going to be on Joker's body. And this is a great example for that, as you can see some of the tattoos that are going to be all over the Clown Prince of Crime. The top on his face, he has it looks what appears to be a star right above his eyebrow. Underneath his his other eye is a J, of course, Mr. Joker. And then on the top there, we've got damaged, which some people don't like that Joker would, you know, Joker doesn't really see himself damaged, so why would he get tattoos for that? He's got a smile on the one hand, or one the one arm there. Ha 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 on the other arm, as well as on his chest, a jester skull. Joker and smiley face as well. As for the back, I, well, we've not even, I don't think we've even seen Joker's back here, but apparently he's got a dragon all over his back, which seems maybe out of place for Joker. I don't see, I don't see the connection. Although I don't really see the connection of having him with tattoos all over his body anyways, but having a tattoo of a dragon doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, his face is really creepy. And I mentioned this before when we had a little look at the Joker boss, which if we just, look, there we go, bring him in. It's the exact same face. Of course, the only thing that they've changed is the body. This one also has the handgun. This one does not. This one has one sole singular glove. I'm not sure the reasoning for that, but all of which will be revealed when we see the movie. Big, creepy smile on both Jokers here as well as the absence of pupils, really makes this guy sinisterly scary. The bright green is on the hair is something I still have to kind of warm up to, but like the rest of the, the, rest of the design of Joker, I'm actually starting to really like. I also like the coloring of the skin uh, that they've given the not only the figure, but the design of Joker too. As you would expect, and as I mentioned with this guy right here, uh, Joker is heavy because he is die-cast metal. Uh, as a result, he has no posability to him other than just the waist swivel. Uh, there is no posability in the head, nor in the arms, nor in the feet. The, the feet, I might add, also feel more like rubber. Uh, the hands also feel like they are rubber, so it might be that the feet and hands are rubber, the legs, the torso, and the head are metal. Also on the side, his little pant leg, it's got, it says Arkham on the side there as well little side touch. Quite, quite like these. Liking the look of Joker. I love, you know, what Jada Toys does with their figures that they, you get like a, a super stylized version of what the characters are going to look like. Um, it's a nice change to some of the other figures, and I won't mention the other ones, but like the ones that about yay big, where, you know, it's just hordes and hordes and hordes of the same similar design figure, 
Jada Toys brings something different to the table, and I like that. Plus two, like you, you know, you pick this up, you feel right away that there's a quality to it as well. Today's collectible spot, we were continuing our looks at the brand new Jada Toys Suicide Squad figures, and we're looking today at Shirtless Mr. J. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots in your way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.